of BB for Hody and Straight Black Pride, brothers and sisters. This is your brother, DC Radical One, with another Radical Report. And today we're going to talk about a case of a DC police officer charged with heinous crimes against a child. And the reason I want to talk about this case is because um, it was recently concluded but it was a case that it was very difficult to find a picture of the um, the officer that was eventually convicted. And it was a case that was covered, but it didn't make a lot of national press. It was covered locally. And finding out who the actual officer was, um, was extremely difficult, almost as if they were trying to hide his identity and so i just want to talk about it because i mean we the police the um the way that they are protected even when they're guilty the way that their crimes sometimes are muffled regardless of race is um interesting and it's something that whenever we have these type of situations we have to you know shine as much light as possible because there's always, especially in a case like this, there's always possibility of more victims. But you'll see how heinous this crime was, and then we'll see the conclusion for those who are not familiar with it. So this is from earlier, uh, actually this is from 2022, when the officer was first charged, it says, DC police officer charged with um, abusing child on multiple occasions. Um, and it says the Metro Police Department says Charles Johnson II, 28 of Northwest D.C. was arrested in relation to the alleged crime on Thursday. Johnson is charged with two counts of first degree child sex abuse. Police say that between January 2020 and September 2021, Johnson alle allegedly abused a juvenile female on multiple occasions in Washington, D.C. Police did not reveal how old the victim is. According to MPD, Johnson's police powers have been revoked and he has been placed on administrative leave as a result of these charges. The placing people on administrative leave uh, is seems to be standard operating procedure for most police departments in the country, regardless of the types of charges that are on the table says Johnson had been an MPD member since 2019. He was assigned to the department's first district. Uh, according to MPD, Johnson's police powers have been revoked and he's been placed. Okay, right. on it, Mr. Lee. I, 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 I apologize for reading that part twice. And that was the initial report. So we see it was very short. It was bereft of any details at the time. And that this is what I mean. So this is a local outlet, Fox 5, here in Washington, D.C. They covered the case. They heard about it. They covered it. But there were very few details mentioned and initially as far as what took place. Now, um, we move forward in the case. This is from... July 2023 says DC police officer found guilty of repeatedly uh, sexually abusing a child. Charles Johnson was convicted of numerous child sex abuse charges. Again, you see, this is the second article. You do still to this point do not see a picture of this gentleman. Says a DC police officer was convicted Tuesday of repeatedly sexually abusing a young girl. Charles Johnson, 29, was found guilty of all charges against him, including multiple counts of first-degree child sexual abuse, multiple counts of first-degree sexual abuse, second-degree child sexual abuse, attempted first-degree child sexual abuse and assault, the U.S. Attorney Office said. Johnson had been suspended from his position with the Metropolitan Police Department without pay. The department said it is currently in the process of firing him. 
Prosecutors said that Johnson sexually abused a girl numerous times between November 2019 and September 2021. The child was nine and 10 years old at the time of the abuse. Johnson is said to be sentenced in October and faces life in prison. If he were to be released, Johnson will be required to register as a sex offender for the remainder of his life, prosecutors said. Johnson became an officer with MPD in 2018. Again, even after having been found, been charged, been found guilty, literally all you have is his name and no pictures with these headlines. As we move forward, uh, no, actually we have a video that we're gonna show. And as we show the video, you'll see again, you'll hear discussions about the case, but I, if I'm not mistaken, there's also no pictures of Mr. Johnson, even in this video, which is a video from the, uh, a local station covering the case. We're learning more tonight about the DC police officer charged with sexually assaulting a child. Charles Johnson II will stay behind bars until his trial. He's accused of abusing an 11 year old girl multiple times. Johnson appeared in court today. Aren't Colby Satterfield listen in on the hearing. Colby, I'm sure it was tough to listen to, but what did you learn? The details are just devastating coming out, going through those court documents. We have learned that Officer Charles Johnson II is accused of sexually assaulting an 11 year old girl up to 20 times over the course of nearly two years, starting when she was nine years old. According to prosecutors, that young girl was the daughter of a woman Johnson was in a relationship with and living with. The child's mother only learned about the attacks after her daughter told her she wanted to kill herself according to the court documents. Those documents show the young girl told authorities he raped her multiple times. Court documents also show Johnson threatened to kill the young girl and her mother if she told her mother the assaults were happening. The young girl telling authorities she was scared because he was a police officer and had a gun. 28-year-old Johnson has been a sworn member of the Metropolitan Police Department since 2019. He is now charged with two counts of first-degree child sexual abuse. He is currently being held without bond. Live in D.C., Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. This is just so sick. You think of that little girl and her family tonight. Colby, thank you so much. Now, um, as far as what they said with his uh, relationship with the child, this is why I've said for years with I warned sisters about this sisters black black women women in general who have children you have to vet the men in your life before you bring them around children the reality of the situation is and I'm not saying that that's a, this is what happened in this case but I'm saying this is something I've actually talked about for over 10 years i've talked about it you know i've talked about it in lectures i've talked about it in blogs um and so some i've talked about since probably like maybe 2010. women have to uh, women who have children have to understand that there are a segment of sick men who will seek out women with children and it doesn't matter if it's boys or girls because some will seek out women who have uh, sons, some will seek out women who have daughters. And they will target those women in order to get access to those children. And they'll win the trust of the mother. They will be intimate with the mother. They'll take care of her. They Sometimes they'll even move her and the child into their house and then these are the type of sick activities that will be taking place while the mother is out working or or whatever the case may be and you'll have a situation like this and if you're not paying attention to your child if you're not paying attention to the signs of how they feel in when they're in the presence of someone um any change in their behavior you may miss the signs like 
this this woman here, her mother, I mean, the, the daughter, she didn't, because the children won't always come out because they innately, they understand the situation. She said, he's a police officer. He, ha he has a gun. The child was fearful for herself and her mother. Many times in these situations, the children are more fearful for the parent. What what may happen to the parent, even if they have a father, what the father may do and how the father can be taken away from the child. That makes the child reticent to tell what took place. So we see in this situation, the child was uh, fearful because again, you know, how do you call the police on the police, right? He's armed. He's obviously a monster and a predator and a savage because of what he's doing to the child. These are all logical things. And these are the types of things that go through our children's minds. So we have to pay attention to our children to see if, are they uncomfortable around this person? Are they uncomfortable around my cousin? Are they uncomfortable around my uncle? Are they uncomfortable around even their grandparent or someone like that? Or when I bring this new man around, do they feel uncomfortable soon as they meet him because he's looking at them crazy, right? Because children can feel that. So you have to, parents, especially single parents, and it's to the point now where even single fathers have to be careful of women they bring around. And you have to be in tune with our children and their normal behavior and and see okay i see a change in behavior or I, this child doesn't like this person i need to find out why what are they feeling has something take place has they have they said something inappropriate have, have they done something inappropriate what's going on i need to be in tune with my children and so we can mitigate these types of situations from taking place so we're going to read this last article uh, and we're going to close out and it says former MPD officer sentenced to 32 years in prison for child sex abuse. I will give the DA, I'll give MPD credit, I'll give the jury credit, I'll give the lawyers credit. One thing that they did, despite this thing kind of being low key, yeah, they kept it low key, but they got a charge, they got a conviction, and the judge threw the book at him. And now for those who don't know, I'll let you know, this Charles Johnson II happens to be, appears to be from the picture that I saw, an African-American male. Would a non-black officer have received this type of sentence? I don't know, I can't say. But the reality is, people who abuse children deserve to be prosecuted to the highest extent of the law regardless of race gender religion any of that pedophiles are predators who need to be dealt with as harshly as possible and so i applaud the legal system in this case let's read the last part here says a former DC police officer has been sentenced to more than 30 years behind bars for sexually abusing a child over a span of nearly two years. Now think about this. If the child is 11 now, two years is 22% of her life. Nearly a quarter of her life, she's been subject to abuse by a predator. That's why it's so important to protect our children because they're on, they, You've been on the planet for so little time and so much of your time, anything can just derail their normal growth and development. Says Charles Johnson II, 30 of Washington, D.C., will spend 32 years in prison for multiple counts of first degree child sex abuse with aggravating circumstances, multiple counts of first degree sexual abuse with aggravated circumstances, second degree child sexual abuse with aggravated circumstances, attempted first degree child sexual abuse with aggravated circumstances and assault. Johnson was convicted in July 2023 after a five day trial in DC Superior Court. 
according to prosecution between November 2019 and September 2021. Johnson sexually abused a child who was nine to 10 years old at the time of the assaults. The child lived in a home with Johnson. According to prosecutors, he took advantage of her when she was left in his care, repeatedly subjecting her to <clears throat> sexual acts and forcing her to perform sexual acts on him. Johnson was an officer with the Metropolitan Police Department at the time of the abuse. He was hired in 2019 and assigned to the department's first district. This is the thing. He had barely been a police officer. And literally, he, it seemed like, he, oh man, anyway. It's almost like he became a police officer to cover up his pedophilia. And I just want to just think about a nine that's elementary school a nine-year-old little girl what in your sick mind makes you want to put your hands on a little baby that's in elementary school how sick does someone have to be to do that he was arrested on July 14th and immediately had his police powers revoked. Johnson was sentenced to a total of 384 months across multiple counts to be followed by a period of supervised release. Upon his release, Johnson will be required to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. So, brothers and sisters, um, that's the gist of that case. And I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. And I'm going to say this, not in our community, but there are segments of America where people just don't seem to believe that police do crimes. Police commit a lot of crimes. It isn't always covered. It isn't always. And when it is covered, it isn't always blasted to high heaven like other pe people's crimes. But I personally believe that police should be held up to a higher standard than normal citizen. They are the, um, they're charged with maintaining law and order. They, um, they are the enforcers of the law. And so it should be a big deal when police commit crimes and are the breakers of the law. And it should be brought before the people so they can see what is taking place. Also, as I said earlier, we must be in tune with our children and try to protect them as best we can and and especially for black women single mothers please please try to vet and and pay attention to the men that you bring into your life be careful bringing these men into your house or getting into a situation where you're moving in with these men with your children until you really have an understanding of this person's character and and what kind of person they are because your life and the life of your child may well depend on how you handle those situations so with that brothers and sisters i thank you all for listening don't forget to like share and subscribe this is your brother dc radical one with that i say a bb for ODA and straight black Pride. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow us on our other social media platforms. On Instagram, we're at dc.radical, the number one. On Twitter, we're at dc underscore radical underscore o n e. And the cash app is dollar sign dc radical one. Again, thank you for subscribing. A big before ODA and straight black pride.